Hey everybody, it's Heather from Say La V3. Um, this might be distracting. This is the Mediterranean, don't mind that. We will um, get there with our travel videos. But in the meantime, we lost some of our videos in transition. So we're kind of going back and filling in the gaps of what we've lost. So today we are going to talk to you about the ceiling. Um, we've got the ceiling video for you that's coming up in a minute. And right now I just wanted to kind of do an intro and tell you. So far, we still have the fan left. We bought a Max fan. Um, we learned before we moved that um, it would require a little bit more money in transition because of the height that the Max fan um, adds to the van. So we held off on that. We actually learned that that is not the case and we could have put it on ahead of time, but c'est la vie, here we are and we will put the fan in in Spain. All right, so come on in, let me show you Talk to you a little bit about the ceiling. For starters, we did sound deadening, so we stuck it to the metal roof of the ceiling of the van. And after that, we put a one inch styrofoam insulation. Um, and then we put one by three purlings um, over the, right here, right? Yep, cross members. Cross members. Um, so we would be able to screw or bolt the shiplap into the ceiling and keep it there instead of it falling. After that, we put on the shiplap. I can't remember if we got it from Lowe's or Home Depot, but one of those places. Um, we got a pre-treated white shiplap. We ended up painting over it, um, but just to make it look a little nicer. So we put shiplap from here all the way to here, screwed them all in. We put in LED lights and we will go into greater detail when we um, go over the lights, but that way it wouldn't uh, draw too much from the battery. As for the walls, we ended up finding a, what is called a poly wall. We found it at Home Depot or Lowe's and it is just a very thin plastic, if you can kind of hear it. Um, and it gave us just the shape that we were looking for. We had debated on doing shiplap all the way down but we were going back and forth between that and adding shelves and we just came to the conclusion that we're not full timing. We don't need that storage. So we would much rather just have this more open space. Um, if we were full timing in it, we definitely would have gone with the cabinets. So what we did here is we got some crown molding. We put a little bit of um, rope lights behind there and we will go into more detail with that also in the lighting. And we screwed them into, or actually nailed them into a one or two, what is it, a two by three? Uh, a one by, by four. A one by four um, that we also painted. So those are, are screwed in here. And when you turn on the lights, I don't know which one are our lights, do we know? Number three. And that gives us just a kind of a pretty accent light there. So. Um, and then as far as the one by four, we also drilled in. Um, some screws to hang our curtains. So we've just got these just very light flowy curtains, but they give us the privacy we need um, during the day. We are still working on the daytime or nighttime curtains. So that is about it. That covers our ceiling install. The video is coming up next. So right after this, let us know if you have any questions. Um, comment below, let us know what you think, all of that. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We have a few more van build videos. And then after that, we will just hop right to for our European travels. And we're hoping to get about one video per week. So we've been working a lot on the footage from the transition and what we lost. So we're gonna try to get, get with you guys more regularly. All right, hope you guys have a great day. We are off to the Mediterranean. Are we placing, do we want to place the Amazon order today? Yeah, I guess so. Rainy day.
rainy day crafts. It's been raining for about six hours. We were supposed to be already started working on the van. Um, it's just now starting to stop. So my goal right now is to see if we can get uh, some progress started on the van today. With most of that progress being, I'm sorry, ceiling insulation as well as the ship lap. And wall insulation. Right? And some wall insulation, yeah. This is our first rainy day. Yeah, usually the rain's like real quick around here. It's like, you know, 20, 30 minutes and it's gone. Yeah, the sun's coming out. I mean, we'll see. Mm -hmm. It's disappointing because we spent all day yesterday between Lowe's and Home Depot. Thinking it was somewhere. raining yesterday. Yeah, because it was supposed to rain yesterday. So we were literally gone all day and now we're ready and got everything and we can't do it yet. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you how many days we have left right now. That's because we're just not going to count anymore. Can't see my glasses are all fogged. Everything uh, in Florida right now has just gone from the humidity levels gone from uh, what is it? Spaceball says uh, ludicrous to plaid. And I'm in here. I'm going to work on putting the the purlings in, which are the uh, cross members that are going to run from here to here on either side of the styrofoam. That's going to give us uh, the ability to mount our uh, shiplap work uh, that's going to go on as our ceiling. And Heather is using one inch. Uh, styrofoam for the ceiling. What are you doing right now? Not working on that. <laughs> I miscounted my purlings. I don't know how, but I think I lost the board somewhere between the cashier and the fan. Maybe you ran into a bunch of buckets. Maybe. I mean, just an idea. That might have happened. All right, show us what you're doing. All right, so we're gonna cut these purlins. You can see we got we got one up there or two up there right now, and we're gonna cut. There's supposed to be three more. For some reason, I only bought four boards. Anyways, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're using one by three inch uh, regular pine. It's a little flex because there's a soft uh, kind of radius here, so you can't use something that's too uh, rigid. Uh, so we got some uh, soft pine, we're going to go drill holes in them and then we're going to countersink them and we're going to use self-tapping screws, they're one inch. It's like literally less than a sixteenth of an inch between that screw going through the board and into the uh, cross members and then going through the roof. So if you push too hard they go through the roof, if you push too soft they don't hold it up. This is a tricky little spot. So we're going to uh, finish out drilling out those and I. I don't really feel like stopping all my progress to go get a fourth purling, but I think I have to because it's just so much strength that you're going to lose running these cross members all the way out. Uh, so frustrating to keep doing trips back to Lowe's. We're on a first name basis with Andre, by the way, but I can't pick up sawdust for the composting toilet. Happiness. In right. the United States. In the United States. I have no idea where to get sawdust in, um, Europe. in Europe, so if anybody knows, give me a heads up. All right, let's go. Uh, I'll show you what we do with these boards and uh, walk you through how we're going to set this up. So this is where we're going to put our uh, bolts. So I'm going to screw those in, or sorry, drill and then countersink before we go over to the van. really quiet in our house. There you have it. One, two, three. I've got two more to do and another trip to Lowe's. So I'm going to put this last one up and I got to take a trip to Lowe's. I'm going to eat some lunch. And then Heather and I are going to start putting up the uh, shiplap. Woo! Take a quick vote. Do the uh, b-board side or the smooth side? And we'll tell you if you're right or wrong. <laughs> so in case you're wondering what you're seeing right now, what we did is we went to uh, Home Depot and we got some uh, uh, 12 foot long tongue and groove. Um, Simlex is kind of, uh, eh, it's mostly like plastic material. Um, I'd say there's more plastic in it than wood. But uh, yeah, we got this. It's uh, good moisture resistance. It's got a decent amount of curve radius to it so you can bend it around the roof. 
Um, it's supposed to be, uh, I think they call it a six inch wide panel, but it's about five inches. And we are gonna install this on the roof. We put the purlins across right now. Um, those are done. And now we're just adding to it as uh, working our way wide. Uh, so how this works is get down here, cut it to 138 and about three quarters of an inch. We'll take it back to the van and we mount it to the ceiling. We're just doing a rough fit right now and then uh, we'll take them down again and paint them. It's like you do everything twice here. It's like Groundhog Day. So uh, yeah, that's game plan. I'll walk you through this. Um, and the upcoming part for us that's going to be really difficult is the transition from ceiling to wall and how to make that a little more seamless. But we've got an idea for that and uh, we'll show you what we're thinking. Time's ticking. Let's do this. Now that we got those cut, we're gonna put them in here. This is the beginning progress of our ship lap. We got the three up. I really, really, really wanted to start from the outside edge here, but everybody's uh, that I've kind of watched or imitated or read on, they all start in the middle because it's only definitive point that you have uh, a center line on because over here based on our purlins I can't tell you where the exact corner is the same corner over here because there's no telling in a car what is symmetrical and what's not sometimes I like not having them in a straight line um, I did that on purpose I know it sounds stupid right uh, I did that because it shows that it's my blood sweat and tears that went in here and not some robot call me crazy Alright, so the hardest thing about doing this part is not hitting Heather's cabinets because she'll uh, whoop me. Alan, do you want me to hold it or are you good? Yeah, if you don't mind, that way we can uh, get the markings pretty quick. All we're doing is just finding where the beams are so I can do the nail holes. So we don't need to scoot it in or you want to? Yeah. Oh, oh. Alan. I'll put it on the wrong side. person job. All right, don't worry folks, someone got Heather. Now we can actually do work. I'm here. I am done feeding everybody. All right, ready? What are you doing today? I just got done sanding the ceiling. We are going to paint the ceiling a beautiful shade of white. And after that's done drying, we are going to put our 12 volt LED lights in. These are awesome because they have two little arms. See if you can see them right there to keep the light from falling out of the ceiling. So Alan's got it all wired up, labeled, really time consuming surprisingly we've only done four um, but once the paint dries that's what we're going to do while the paint dries we are going to put more sound deadening in the doors the back and the side as well as um, some more insulation so I think that's about it perfect I mean it's 450 Perfect. so we gotta get moving bye yeah. Hello, fans. Let me see if I can fix that. We are exactly 17 days away from turning the van in. Van's not quite what we call ready. Um, we've already talked in our last video that we're going to go ahead and cut some of the things uh, from the project to include uh, some details, some things, things we were going to do. But I want to walk you through what we've been doing today and uh, kind of just throw some time lapse in of Heather painting, me putting up some wood planks. So well, some of the things that we've been having problems with, and you'll see here, is we have this beautiful shiplap 
And then from the ship lap down to the next level, we kind of started building our transition. Let me open this up just a little bit. Now you can see. So ship lap up above, LED lights, and then we had this awesome frame rail that we initially were gonna put these uh, uh, over the head cabinets and stuff. We ran out of time and we're not gonna do that. Uh, if we need to, we can add it when we get to Europe, but we're gonna go ahead and just try to move on without it. So we are trying to figure out how we can continue moving on since this is gonna be a main corridor for a lot of our wiring. Um, you can see some of it over there. It doesn't have conduit cover on it. it it's gonna have that on there, so don't don't go crazy on me. Uh, but it, we just haven't run it through the conduit yet. And that's gonna go down through the wall here. Um, so we had all these wires. We were originally gonna have a cabinet. How are we gonna cover it up? What we ended up doing is we opened up a little bit of the uh, shiplap again, and we, we went to Home Depot and we bought these. These are called Polywall. It's basically, uh, a plastic sheet. So after that we got the transition piece and then right here we just went ahead and started nailing up some or screwing. We started screwing in some um, five inch, the four inch, sorry I've been going through a whole bunch of different uh, wood cuts right now. So they're all running through my head. So we took um, some one by fours. Uh, we screwed them up to this framework and we have luckily, Pro Master, thanks for doing this, they made a level surface all the way up and down and now we're going to run um, those boards to help with the transition. So the goal, what we're trying to do here, is we're gonna use some crown molding up at the top, and then we're gonna use some backlighting to kind of showcase the ceiling, and just kind of smooth out the transition from window to top, even though we didn't get our cabinet, but it's not it's not an end deal. Here, let me, let me mock up the um, crown molding for you. So in a nutshell, that's the idea. We're gonna come back through Heather's going to paint this all white, and then we're going to have some crown molding. On the back side of this crown molding, we're going to have some ambient light, and the light's just going to run up down the um, sides of the van. Just kind of give it a nice effect. Um, yeah, that's kind of our project right now. That'll finish the ceiling, and the next piece is the walls and the lighting. And then we're going to move to the counters, and after the counters, electrical and water tank. And that's, that's it. That's all we have time left to do, Burley.